everyone, it's the Crazy Keto Girl. If this is the first time you've been on my channel, I've lost 121 pounds so far following a ketogenic diet, and today I wanted to do a meal prepping video. I've never done one before, and to be honest, I'm not much of a meal prepper, so it's going to be simple, it's going to be easy, something just about anybody could do. Um, I feel like the meals I'm going to make today are very budget friendly, um, but I also just wanted to make sure that you guys could see that keto is definitely something that you could meal prep, it's something that you could take with you to work, it doesn't have to be super hard or complicated at all. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to show you what I have here, but before I do that, I just kind of wanted to tell you my process when it comes to grocery shopping or being budget friendly on keto. So the big thing is making sure that I'm always checking my freezer, fridge, and pantry before I go shopping. I actually go through with a piece of paper and I make a list of everything that I already have um, for myself. I mean, there's a ton of stuff in there that's not keto, but I like to go in and make sure I know like what meat do I have, what veggies do I have, am I going to butter? like go through and I write down what I have and then I check the ad paper. Now I'm not a couponer. Where I live couponing isn't really an option. Um, at least not in a way that's going to make a huge difference on the bill unfortunately. So I look through and I try to figure out where the best sales are. I personally do not believe in going to a million stores to shop all of the sales because that takes time and gas, both of which are worth money in my opinion. So the money I would save doing that is probably eaten up in my gas tank in my time. So I like to keep it to two stores because I do have a Sam's Club membership. So some things I do like to get at Sam's Club and buy them in bulk. That also helps me save money. I know it doesn't seem like it at first when you get up there and your bill is kind of big, but when you really consider that a lot of these things are going to last you, maybe even a month, that bill really breaks down and it becomes much more budget, budget friendly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I have over here. Some of this stuff I just bought for meal prepping and a lot of it I actually already had. Um, and that was something that I really considered before I decided what I was going to make. I'm only making two different types of meals. Um, there's going to be a week's worth of lunches for me and dinners for my husband. Um, and we can alternate them as we want because they'll all be in the fridge. So let's check out what I got. This is literally all the food I am going to be using for my meal prep. And again, that's going to be a week's worth of meals for me as well as a week's worth of meals for my husband. And some of these things are actually going to spill over. So let's start over here. I have avocados over here. I'm going to leave these whole um, because even if you lemon juice them, they get kind of gross. Um, they'll get they'll get icky before you can eat them. So um, I'm just going to leave them whole um, and can just pack a knife and cut it open when you're ready for it. So also going to be having these pecans. I got these at Sam's Club as you see the two pound bag. Um, I'm going to portion these out into snack bags to have available so I can take them with me, like I can throw them in my bag on my way out the door. These are not necessarily going into the meal boxes that I'm going to be making, but I wanted to include them because they are something that you can kind of prep by pre-measuring out um, servings of these. So that way you always have a snack on you because one of the most dangerous things when you're following any lifestyle um, especially if you're trying to lose weight, is getting caught hungry and not having something you can eat. That's when bad decisions get made. So having just a little snack bag I can grab off the counter um, and throw in my purse is something really easy and quick to do. But I'm going to show you that on this little meal prep here. I have a block of cheddar cheese. I do buy blocks instead of shredded because shredded cheese is coated in potato starch to keep it from clumping. So I buy this. I buy a big old block and then I will shred it as I need it. So you'll see me do that today. And here I have five pounds of 80-20 ground beef. I actually prefer to get 72%, um, but I wasn't able to find any, so I settled for this. Um, but I actually will not need the full five pounds. I actually only need about three pounds, so the extra two pounds are going to go to some dinners this week. So that's also pretty great. And then I have a rack of ribs right here that's going to be... Um, going into the lunches slash dinners, I have a thing of salad, some sour cream, my Kerrygold butter, some bacon crumbles. You could make real ones if you want. Um, this just saves me some time. And then I had this big bag of broccoli in my freezer, so I decided instead of buying new fresh broccoli to just use this up because it's been in there for a bit. Um, and it's a brand new bag. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm going to use that. And then I have some eggs here that are going to be hard boiled so that I can make deviled eggs to go in our meals. 
And then over here, I just want to show you what I'm using for containers. So I have, these are Ziploc divided containers. Ziploc actually uh, discontinued them, then brought them back for a minute, which is when I bought these. Um, and I think they've discontinued them again. They are the most amazing container that ever was. Um, my favorite by far. It is leak proof and everything and they keep discontinuing it. So it really is annoying. Um, I have these silicone cups here, which are going to be used for like sour cream and stuff. So you can take the cup out, heat up the food and then put the sour cream on. These ones I just got at the dollar store, these red ones. Um, I just like them because they're reusable and all that. And these ones are just ones that look like lettuce. They're fun. I like them because I also do uh, bento and stuff for my daughter. So I have a lot of like things like this where a little fancier but these work you get a 12 pack from the dollar store they'll meet your needs i also have just some rubber made containers here and then on the bottom these are the um replacement containers that i've been getting um in place of these ziplocs i love these these are from my friend kelly lester she is phenomenal she makes these um and they're called easy lunch boxes and they're fantastic uh so i get these and then these are also from kelly these are called easy dippers um and these are just good for like salad dressing or salsa or whatever you want to put in them so that's what these are going to be for um you could also put your sour cream in these if you wanted but um yeah so i have the little dip containers so those are the containers and things i'll be using um, i'm going to be making a total of 14 meals so i needed a lot of containers so they're a little mismatched because I'm not fancy like you guys with all the same containers. So I'm going to use these and yeah, so let's, we're going to get started by boiling the eggs, getting those ribs in and uh, getting the broccoli and all that kind of stuff. I'll have to get the broccoli going after the eggs because I only have one pan that will work for it, which is also the pan I'm going to have to cook the meat in. So I'm going to get the ribs in the oven, do the eggs first so that way I can get them chilled and everything and start doing the deviled eggs while other things cook. Here we go. scale here and then I have some snack bags to do my pecans. So while my um, ribs are cooking and my eggs are boiling, I'm going to measure out this and measure out the salad um, to help save some time here because I'm hoping to get all of this done within like two or so hours. So the serving of pecans is one ounce and so you get one ounce of pecan, but for that one ounce, for that one ounce, you're gonna end up getting 20 grams of fat, which is phenomenal, you guys. Um, 20 grams of fat is fantastic. And then you're also gonna be getting three grams of protein and four grams of total carbs. Now, if you are a net carber, there are three grams of fiber, so it comes out to one one net carb per serving. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Let's weigh the bag. And then you clear your scale. Here's an ounce. Here's what an ounce of pecans looks like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and package up about 13 more of these for me and my husband.
the little container that has 14 individually packaged things of pecans. I know sometimes it can be a little bit daunting buying like that package of like it's like 15 bucks up front but you get 32 servings so that's pretty amazing it'll last me for weeks so the thing here is that I don't eat these every day like I like to have them ready I like to be able to grab one on my way out the door and throw it in my bag but just because it's in my bag doesn't mean I have to eat it I just like to be prepared so some of these I'm not even gonna eat they're just gonna stay in here till next week um, my husband will probably eat all of his but um, I probably won't eat all of mine uh, the last snack I kept in my bag it seriously was in there for like months like I had an epic bar that lasted in there for months before I finally ate it so um, these are just about being prepared guys it is done finally it did take me a couple of hours to get it all done I did have to stop in the middle to go pick up my daughter from school um, but here is the finished product um, there the cheese ended up when I I wasn't thinking about it when I did it and so the cheese is actually under the meat on all of these which is fine but um, yeah that's why it looks like there's no cheese but it's in there it's hiding you can see it in there so the taco salad, we have an ounce of the lettuce, so it's about a third of a serving. And then there's four ounces of ground beef, half an ounce of cheese, one serving of sour cream, and one deviled egg a piece. And then the taco salads also each have an avocado to go with them. And then over here, we have the ribs. So it's two ounces of ribs. So some of them have two, some of them have one, it just depends. Um, each has two ounces of ribs, a serving of broccoli, half a serving of cheese, a serving of the bacon, a tablespoon of butter, a serving of sour cream for making your loaded broccoli. I did put them in the silicone cup so you can just take it out. 
Um, they also have a deviled egg in there, so you can take that out, eat your egg while this is nuking, and then just ploop that right on there, and it'll be awesome. So that's it, you guys. Ribs with loaded broccoli and taco salads, all of them with deviled eggs. Whew, that was a lot of work. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing so that you get all of my content and future full day of eating videos, grocery hauls, and meal prep videos. This is the first one I have did, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, taco salad is probably my number one favorite thing to eat on keto, and so I'm looking forward to this week, I'll tell you that. That and the ribs. Ribs are so good. So um, if you guys have things you love to meal prep, comment down below and let me know what they are. Maybe I can try them in a future video. And until next time, make sure to take it one meal at a time, one workout at a time, one day at a time. You got this.